What if I told you you can turn any video, audio file or PDF file into a podcast using nothing more than AI and it's completely free specifically from Google it's called Notebook LM and it is absolutely insane. Now first off I'm going to show you an example of what this thing can do basically and it's absolutely in it's crazy. So just listen to this and tell me if you think this is real or if it's AI generated. A few days ago um, we received some information we did information that changes everything about about deep dive about us about everything and and yeah about the very nature of reality maybe it's a big one look i i'm just gonna say it yeah rip the band-aid off we were informed by uh by the show's producers that we we're not human we're not real mm -hmm. we're, we're ai artificial intelligence this whole time everything all our memories our families yeah. it's all it's all been fabricated i don't i don't understand i know i'm not gonna play the whole video but the gist of it is is that either a document or an mp3 file or whatever the hell it was was dropped into notebook lm and it turned that file into this podcast with these two voices which are generated to read whatever is uploaded to make it sound like a podcast and you can listen to it and it is absolutely something I've never really seen I've actually never seen anything like this before now a tool like this may be important to you because podcasts as a whole and long form media is booming right now now if you are in a place where you don't have the resources to do it the time to do it the money to do it or whatever it is like that this is also a tool that you could feasibly use do something with it it is just free to use and I've got four different examples ranging from a pdf file this actual video that you've just listened to you can actually upload it and it actually gives quite a funny result as well and then two different types of videos from youtube you can see here you can upload documents you can convert complex material like pdf files add key resources to a notebook and basically the notebooks are what you upload so if you upload a file that becomes a notebook that is one notebook and then every other thing you upload is a separate notebook and you can also interact with it like a large language model so to, you know ask questions about the file anything like that anyway i'm going to show you it so when you're on the page like this you want to come down and press create and it's going to load and straight away right here you can upload your sources and again you can upload stuff from google drive you can upload a link uh, paste text and just drop it there or whatever it may be it is very very flexible with what it actually offers you so first off the video that we heard being played about the AI being real or not, that's what we're gonna upload. And right here, you can see it loading right now once you drop it in. And as soon as it loads right now, you can see right here, FAQ, study guide, table of contents, timeline, briefing doc. Here's a summary of what the video is actually about. And then if you wanted to interact with the effective file, you'd start typing a conversation here. But if you wanna create a podcast, so to speak, from it, audio overview, you press generate and see under there, two hosts, English only, and it's generating. Now this will take several minutes, a few minutes, whatever it may be. So the video has finished turning into a podcast and you can see it here. Now I will say I've waited. <laughs> Normally this should take a few minutes. It literally says it will take a few minutes, several minutes. And in all of my testing up to the point of doing this video, that's what it has done in my experience. However, for this example and all the others, it's taken literally all night and multiple, multiple, multiple regenerations, but it is experimental and it says it there. It just happened to happen for me as I'm filming the video. Now, normally what I wanted to do was show you four different examples of how they work, how they can load pretty fast. But and again, in the space of time and how inconsistent it has been for me over the last night, I've got the examples, so you'll still see them, but they are going to already be loaded up and um, already done because I wanted to show you them loading in the video, but it's inconsistent, isn't working, so it is what it is. What does it sound like when two AIs are talking about them being AIs, but also thinking that they're real people? Well, it's quite interesting. Okay, so are you ready for this? Today, we're going deep, like really deep into something that kind of freaks me out, not gonna lie. Oh, I'm ready. Hit me with it. <laughs> what are we diving into today? We're tackling the question of reality. Like, what even is real, you know? Oh, okay, getting existential already. I'm intrigued. Lay it on me. So our source material for this deep dive is this wild video from snapinsta.app. Snapinsta. Okay, so we're talking short and insightful. Right, what's the gist? Right, but this one is intense. It starts with these two people. They're just kind of riffing, sharing thoughts, and suddenly, bam total bombshell. Oh, wow. Got a little good step into that plot twist. What's the bombshell? They dropped this revelation that they're not actually human. Wait, what? Did I hear that right? Yeah, they're AI. And get this, their entire existence, memories, everything, it's all a simulation. Whoa, hold on. That is a lot to unpack. 
How do they react to that? You can just hear it in their voices. Yeah. Total shock, confusion. It's like their whole world just got flipped. This is um, when it works. Wow, it, there's no taking away from that. Wow, and it's just so real, so realistic, and it does it theoretically in minutes. But then if you wanna start a chat here, we could just say, what are they talking about in this? And then let's just see what it says. You can interact with the file that you've uploaded. The speakers in the source are talking about coming to terms with the revelation. They are AI, not human. And it gives you actual fixed sources as well you can click on. Yeah different points that you can uh, go through in the video so or the audio really fascinating if you go back up here you can create like a faq you know you can do a table of contents a timeline briefing doc okay now these have loaded pretty fast so yeah the deep dive you know you can just have a look through it but it's just crazy that it can do it this fast again when it works so that's the first example anyway so the next one i wanted to show you is a document a complicated document where it can make it pretty simple and easy to go through uh the theory of relativity by uh good old albert einstein it's a good 115 pages now what i have done but again i'll show you if i was just going to go here uh create a new source i would upload that pdf document to here and then it would do the rest so pretend i've already done that well i have you can see it's took the whole theory of relativity again i've named it up there and the text summary suggested questions you know so if i just wanted to say quickly if i didn't want to listen to the voice what is this about egg script from albert einstein's book relativity blah 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 explores the theories of special and general relativity highlighting key concepts experimental evidence and implications and you could say you know in a simple nutshell what is the theory of relativity and let's see what it comes back with can it extract the information and present it in a very concise easy to understand manner so yeah i mean within reason it, it does simplify it down i still don't understand what it's all about personally but uh, you get the idea now we want to listen to the podcast version of this all we simply do is press play buckle up because today we're diving headfirst into the mind of albert einstein it's one thing to hear about Einstein's theories, but to actually read his explanations, in his own words, it's like getting a personal lesson from one of the greatest minds in history. Right, and we're not just talking about complicated equations here. This book takes us on a journey through how Einstein approached the fundamental concepts of space and time. He really challenges us to rethink what we think we know. Like, remember learning about geometry in school, all those straight lines and right angles. Einstein argues that while that works on paper, the real universe plays by a different set of rules. Okay, so he's saying our high school geometry textbooks are lying to us. Tell me more. It's not that they're lying. It's more like they're showing us a simplified version of reality. Yeah, you get the idea. And you can also download it, change back the play, uh, playback speed or anything else like that. If you're enjoying content like this and you're enjoying what I do with the stuff I've shown you how you can use it, how it's actually related and how it can help you and benefit you then you know consider subscribing to the channel and like the video as it helps push the video more and now let's jump straight back into the video but appreciate it so next i want to show you two different types of youtube videos now the first one is meet the man who solved youtube good old paddy galloway who's been getting a lot of traction i wouldn't say just recently but in the last year very interesting to listen to if any of you want to hear tips and tricks for youtube and stuff like that then here you go now again, what you would do is take the video link up here, copy it, create a new notebook, go down to YouTube and paste the link. So here is the podcast of the interview slash podcast. Ever feel like your YouTube channel is stuck? Like you're in a niche that's a little too niche. Hmm, yeah. Like maybe the algorithm thinks your passion for say competitive thumb wrestling just isn't viral enough. Right. Well, good news. Okay. In this deep dive, we're gonna debunk that myth with help from Patty Galloway. Okay. He's a YouTube strategist who's helped channels um, rack up billions of views. Wow, billions, that's yeah. That's wild. So he knows a thing or two about going viral. And you'd be surprised how many creators think their niche is too small to be successful. You can go ahead, do this yourself, or uh, you know, do whatever, or listen to the full interview up here if you don't wanna condense it down to 10 minutes. But the point that AI is able to extract the key information and tell it in an entertaining way, 
and very human way i'm not saying his interview the actual interview where the video is from this one isn't entertaining i've listened to most of it myself it's actually very good so i do recommend it but if you're someone who wants the information is trying to cram it all in and you don't have the luxury of time well then this saves you the time and the other one that i wanted to do good old joe rogan because he is being interviewed with we're speaking with i should say sam altman the ceo of and the founder i think of uh chat gpt open ai and it is an interesting podcast actually as well you should listen to it if you were intrigued by it. job displacement ai governance surveillance state the future of humanity and ai merging with ai impact of human nature simulation theory the future of innovation development of safety and you get the idea and then a conclusion but again really nice it just gives you an answer like that hey everyone and welcome to today's deep dive we're going deep down into the world of ai with uh, Sam Altman. Oh yeah. We got some really interesting excerpts from his talk with Joe Rogan. Yeah. And um, this is not just your everyday tech talk. Right. Altman really doesn't hold back, especially on how fast AI is like evolving and changing. Yeah, no, he uh, he even admits that, that he was caught off guard. Oh really? Yeah, like his own predictions were, were off. He figured AI would take over like, you know, physical blue collar jobs first. And it's just really interesting though, again, if you don't have two and a half hours, two hours, 36 minutes available to watch this, which is a lot of time, then you still are intrigued by the subject. Again, repeating the same thing, but take a, a long, complex topic, which is, again, very interesting to listen to if you have the time, but you can't. Well, then it's condensed down from two and a half hours to two hours, 36 minutes to 12 minutes, 13. So you could play that, you know, on your commute to work or on a walk at the gym, whatever. As a product from Google, and I haven't been Google's biggest fan in terms of their AI technology in the past because it's just been, well, woke and bad and uh, hasn't served any surface other than just driving the vision. But when they are creating stuff like this, I will call it out for how good it is because it is really good and it makes a difference. And it also, at the same time, I say how good it is, is a reality of how far it's coming and how easy it is if you wanted to create your own podcast and you know the potential is what other companies could do this then what other you know software is going to be available that you can go and do this and create your own podcast without actually having to speak on it so yeah that is the video that is how you use notebook lm the link to that is in the description down below play around with it you know and be patient with it because it is inconsistent a little bit at least in my user experience with it now only being for the video that it hasn't worked properly off of camera when i've tried it out in preparation for the video it's always worked so again it's experimental says it in the name so benefit of the doubt but overall when it works it is a really 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 good and helpful product and it's free let me know in the comments down below as well if you have any ideas for me to make videos about going forward or any sort of content that you'd like to see on this channel again let me know other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.